Uh, I was the type of kid who'd take apart, you know, the alarm clock or, or wreck uh, the family radio, trying to understand how, what, how it worked. My name is Michael Rudnicki. I'm a senior scientist and director of the regenerative medicine program at the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. I have a long-standing interest in the molecular mechanisms that control muscle stem cell function, and our work has really um, elaborated our understanding of what makes these cells tick and identified new avenues to explore for therapeutic exploitation of these cells. So a few years ago now, um, we found a novel role for dystrophin, the disease gene of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, uh, and we identified that when this when dystrophin is missing from muscle stem cells, there's a defect in the ability to, to uh, repair the muscle as a consequence. Uh, our thinking then is that the, the full disease um, presentation is due not only to the, the, the degeneration of, of differentiated muscle, but also the inability to, to repair uh, because of this defect in muscle stem cells. Uh, we've subsequently, uh, ourselves as well as uh, many other labs have been following up on this now, um, have shown that dystrophin protein is present in, in human muscle stem cells and we're exploring that in, um, uh, now uh, functionally. So these are very exciting times. I'm very honored uh, to receive the George Carpati Research of the Year Award. Uh, I knew George uh, when I was starting out as a scientist in Canada. He, he was uh, kind of a mentor. He, he, uh, he took he, a special interest in young investigators, including me. And, uh, and many times I, saw, I would speak to him about our work and what we're doing, and he was always interested and always a big supporter. Uh, so this is a, a very special award, and I'm extremely honored to receive the, the Dr. George Capardi Researcher of the Year Award. So Muscular Dystrophy Canada has provided very important research uh, to my lab over many, many years. Uh, this support really has allowed us to move the work from the lab, from the bench, in the direction of the clinic, uh, towards the bedside. And uh, uh, without the support, in many ways, um, uh, it would be a, been a lot more difficult road.